Namaste. Today I want to talk to you guys about a very common skin condition and that is acne. Now acne can be extremely frustrating but understanding the causes as well as the treatments available can help us in achieving a clear and healthy skin. So what are some of the causes of acne? Now the couple of ones that I'm going to be mentioning isn't limited to the only causes of acne. Okay, there is quite a few different ones. So let's have a look at the first one. The first one is excessive oil production. Now all of our skins produces oil. Now sometimes what happens is our skins overproduce oil which is called sebum in the skin. It is a natural oil produced by the skin. And when there is too much of oil produced by the skin it ends up clogging the pores causing acne to happen. Clogged pores is another reason for acne. Now with this what happens is there's an accumulation of dead skin cells, bacteria, dirt, excessive oil that goes and clogs the pores or the hair follicles and this forms a perfect environment for the acne bacteria to thrive in. Hormonal changes is another reason for acne to form. Now we've all gone through hormonal changes some point in our lives. It is either by going through puberty, menstruation, pregnancy or even going through stress. Now this can trigger an excessive amount of sebum to be excreted or released from the skin and this again goes and causes acne. Our diet and lifestyle also plays a role in the condition of our skins. Now for causing acne in our skins there are certain foods that can trigger acne. It is not necessarily that it will but it has been seen that it does play a bit of a role in acne formation in the skins. It is a diet high in sugar as well as high glycemic index type of foods. Now there's another one which is having bad skincare habits from either not removing makeup or any products sufficiently from the skin, excessive scrubbing of the skin like physical exfoliation scrubbing of the skin can also help to aggravate it as well as constantly touching and picking on the skin as well. These all play a role in acne formation on the skin. Now there are three types of acne. Now the first one is your whiteheads and blackheads. These are non-inflammatory acne, okay? And the whiteheads usually don't have an open pore, hence why they just sit underneath the skin and they need to be removed by opening the skin surface. This needs to be done by a professional, please don't do it yourself. Then you've also got your blackheads. Now blackheads are formed when the oil in the pores are exposed to oxygen. This is an process then that forms is oxidation which causes the oil to give you that black color. Papules and pustules is another form of acne. Now they are usually a little bit more red and inflamed and they are more visible on the skin than what your whiteheads and blackheads will be. They are also usually filled with pus. Nodules and cysts is a third form of acne and this is a severe case of acne and definitely needs medical intervention. They are situated a lot deeper into the skin, can be extremely painful and they also can leave scarring behind on the skin. What are the treatment options available for acne? There are a few different treatment options available. It all just depends on what you want to and can do for your skin. Now the first one I've got is topical treatment. Now this is an over-the-counter or prescription medication or an ointment, cream or gel that you can apply to the surface of the skin. They usually contain benzoyl peroxide, um, salicylic acid or retinoids and they just help to unclog the pores as well as reduce the acne. Oral medication is also available. It just depends on the severity of the acne, what the dermatologist would prescribe you. They can start you off with mild antibiotics. You can go on to oral contraceptives, which is depending if it is a hormonal acne breakout. They can also give you um, isotretinoin, which is known as otherwise as Accutane, but that is only for when you've got severe or extreme acne breakouts. Making a couple of lifestyle changes can also help to manage your acne. And these are just simple little things to follow. First is just to have a look at your diet and see what are the type of foods that can cause or aggravate the acne that you have. Managing your stress. I know it's not always possible to manage stress, but just try and do a little bit of like calming meditation techniques, going for a walk outside that will just help to alleviate stress a little bit. And then just following a good skincare habit is also very essential for helping and managing your acne in your skin. 
There are some home remedies that you can use at home to help and alleviate the um, acne that you've got, but they don't always prove to be extremely effective. Some of them that you can try is using a tea tree oil, which you have to dilute with a carrier oil. You cannot use it just straight like that on the skin. Um, aloe vera is also one of them that you can use. Honey masks is also one of them because honey, honey has got an um, antibacterial property to it. So you can try these ones before you go to an extreme measure, but just be warned it is not guaranteed that they will actually work, depending on the severity of your acne. When all else fails, professional treatments or intervention is needed. Now some of these include chemical peels, microdermabrasion, which I would not recommend when you've got active acne as it can aggravate and spread it, that you can only use for when you've got acne scarring, and then another treatment you can do, doesn't matter which one, depending on the medical advice that you get, is doing laser therapy. These are all effective in treating both the acne as well as acne scarring, except for the microdermabrasion like I mentioned. In conclusion, acne is a common skin condition amongst all of us with various types and causes. Now, while it can be extremely frustrating in dealing with acne, there are a lot of different options or treatment options available. But just remember that what works for one person is not necessarily going to work for the next. Hence, why seeking medical advice and putting up a personalized management or managing plan for your acne is also very important. With the right approach, you can achieve a healthy and clear skin. Thank you for watching. If you want more information on skincare or any beauty, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there as well as the bell to get notified of when new content is being released. Yes, to a happy, healthy skin.